Assuming BlackRock and other big players get into Bitcoin, how can that affect your Bitcoin wealth pyramid chart, assuming prices go up? Interesting. So let's take a little step back in history. I'm still wiping coffee off my hands. Anywho, we had this back on November 21st, 2022. It sounds like an eternity ago, but it shows you just for $2,300, you could be in the top 5% of all Bitcoin holders. Amazing. That's all Bitcoin holders. Not everybody in the world holds Bitcoin, remember? Top 2% was only 23000 Top 1%, $55,800. You would have needed over 3.5 Bitcoin to be in the top 1% of all Bitcoin holders. And then top 0.5%, 100 grand. Top 0.1%, 333000 I love that number, actually. That's greater than 21 Bitcoin. One third of a million dollars to be in the top 0.1%. But let's fast forward to today. And uh, this model is automated, so I can pull this up real easy. Uh, this is July 2023 with the price today to be in the top 1%. It now costs you not 333000 but 655 And I do not make these numbers up. They are automatically calculated. And that's bizarre that we had 333 and now 655 uh, Top half percent, 207k. Top 1%, 110,000. So to be in the top 1% not too long ago was 55. Now it's 109, basically nearly doubled. Bitcoin prices nearly doubled, etc. Now, the question you're coming to is what's happening to whole corner status? And I've been uh, kind of obsessed with this whole thing about whole corner since 2017. And I've been modeling it for six years now. So uh, it's interesting. But last time I did this, I said there will never be more than 416,000 whole coiners. But that calculus has changed. It has changed. And the question is brilliant. So first of all, the first version I did, I said there will be never be more than 355,000 whole coiners. And version 1, version 2 is 390. Version 3, 416. And version 4, we are working on as we speak. It's a shocker. And... We'll have that model complete in one to two weeks, but it's interesting how things have changed. And version four with BlackRock will be even worse. I've been, since 2017, trying to incentivize people to get one whole coin. When I started doing this, it was $1,300. Just throw 1,300 bucks at it, get it, lock it away, you'll be fine. Come back in 10, 15 years. And imagine, six years later, here we are. It's insane. I was chatting with somebody yesterday on Discord or this morning. I don't even remember. It's all blur because I don't sleep very much. But it was about my initial Bitcoin price prediction in 2017 was 107,000 by the year 2030. That's how much I sandbag stuff. So anyway, craziness. But this just puts things in perspective real quick here. Case in point, two, ho two cohorts. And they are the sharks and the whales in the last three weeks have denied 71,000 whole coiners. So think about that, ladies and gentlemen. That's how much these people with more 10 or to, to one to 10,000 Bitcoin have taken out of the market, out of circulation. And uh, they don't do that unless they know where the price is going. And much of this purchasing happened at exactly where the price is right now, $30,500 per Bitcoin. So if these big players are still stacking like mad, they know the price is going up. So that's the history. Um, I'm excited to get the new uh, Bitcoin wealth pyramid, as I call it, because uh, when I was younger, I used to look at the Credit Suisse kind of wealth pyramid. That's where I got that from. It stacked up all the wealth of individuals by country, how many billionaires, how many millionaires, etc. stratified them by percentiles. So I've done the same thing with Bitcoin. If you are interested in version 4 of that model, let me know below.